Place your fingertips on your shoulders, shoulders down, elbows high, zip up your pants, feet are hip distance apart, go ahead and give me a high knee march. Lift, lift, keep your upper body steady, pressing your elbows to the back wall. I want you to push off the floor and point your toes. Here's eight, seven, shoulder blades should be squeezing. Four, three, give me a little rotation. Opposite knee, reaches for opposite elbow. You're exhaling as you rotate. Use your core. Push all that stagnant breath out. Here's four, three, straighten your arms, straighten your legs up and out, lift. Eight, seven, six. Switch your gaze left to right. Plant your feet, inhale, lift. Exhale, walk and step your feet out nice and wide. Toes and knees taste so face the top corner of your mat. Give me a little plie. Wide second position. Down, zip up. Three, two. Let's open up those chest and shoulders. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, shoulders down, hold it out, releve lift, squeeze your booty cheeks together, six to go, five to go, four, three, two, lift up off your heels and hold, bend your knees and hold, left heel, right heel, lift. Here's eight, seven, six, thighs press back, four, three, hands on your hip, step tap, side to side. Stand up tall, open through your hips, reach the crown of your head, four, three, rotate side wall to side wall. Mm -hmm. Tap your back toes, give them a point, extend through your knees, open up that wingspan, uh-huh. Four, center of your room, inhale, exhale, one more, lift, and lower, let's go. Little different in this classic two class, it is a little different of a yoga style than I usually do. We're gonna be all over the mat today, it should be fun. You'll definitely get beautiful stretches in your upper body, your back, your hips, we're hitting it all today. I encourage you to hang around. It may be something you love, even if it's something you think you might hate. Here we go, stepping at the top of our mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Spread your toes out nice and wide and just wiggle them back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then press all 10 pads of your toes onto the floor. Get a nice little grip there. Good, now spread those toes out. Let them lay softly. Press into your heels, stand up nice and tall. Reach your arms overhead. Good, exhale, lower your hands down by your hips as you hinge at your hips. Take a forward fold, bend your knees if you need to at first. Inhale, lift halfway up. Zip your pants up, pull your upper body out away from those hips. Shoulders slide down your back. Exhale, find a forward fold. Good, bend your knees, tuck your tail, tuck your chin, scoop and round as you roll all the way up. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fan out, hinge at the hips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower down, little variation here. Reverse swan dive, take it all the way overhead. Stand to rise, bring your hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, arms up, arms out. Exhale, flow down, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Reverse swan dive, inhale, fan those arms out. Bring your hands to heart center. Step your feet wide, turn your toes and knees out. Keep your heels on the mat, but when we start to do this, if you notice that your heels are rising, walk your feet out wider or maybe wiggle them back in. Inhale, arms overhead. Clasp your hands overhead. Keep your pointer fingers reaching to the ceiling. Go ahead and look forward. Stand up nice and tall. We're gonna take some beautiful Malasana squats. Weight is loaded in your heels. 
dig those heels in and stand up nice and tall. Squeeze your butt at the top. Lower down. Press. Keep those hips open. Shoulders are down. Shoulders are open. So really open up those armpits. We're going to do two more. Lower. Press. Squeeze and lift. Last one. Good, I want you to hold as low as you can go. Bring your hands to heart center. Lower your hands down. Good, take your left foot and step it all the way back. So your right foot is still off of your mat. Drop down onto your back knee. Point your back toe. Mm -hmm. I want you to press that left hip front forward and push it into your mat. Good, take your left hand, place it in the center of your mat. Take your right hand, place it on your right leg. Now curling your back toes under may feel better here at this point. Good, let's rotate our upper body in towards that right leg. Take a look at the back of your room. Sit up nice and tall. Press that left palm into the floor. Go ahead and extend that right arm up. Good, maybe you drop that right hand back as you bend your left knee, reaching for a toe, a pant leg, anything, just reaching in air, maybe. Zip up your pants, get nice and tall. Good, with ease and control, lower that back leg down. Windmill your arm overhead, back in front, straighten your back leg. Mm-hmm. Good. I want you to start to lift and rise through your hips as you walk your hands back to your back foot. Lengthen your right leg, flex your right toes. Bend down into that left knee. So now you're in a surfer lunge at the back edge of your mat. Go ahead and take your left elbow, plug it onto the inside of that left thigh, and then press that knee open a little more. You should feel length. A beautiful stretch on the inner right thigh, groin. You should feel the same stretch on the left side. Good, we're gonna curl around to the back edge of our mat. So inhale, bring that right arm overhead. Exhale, lower that big toe down on the back. And then you're just gonna pivot around to the back edge of your mat. Now drop your hips in, drive that right heel to the back wall, really lock in the strength of that back leg. Zip up your pants, inhale, rise into a beautiful crescent lunge. Good, now drop into that front knee. Bring your hands to prayer, start to hinge forward. Hook that right elbow up and over that left knee. Press your palms together, lift your chest up. And the goal here is to rotate and then maybe get your thumbs a little closer to the center of your heart. So push that right arm into your left leg and allow that to be your resistance. Good, come back forward, inhale your arms overhead. Beautiful crescent lunge, sink down. From here, step your back foot forward into a chair pose. Good, don't let your tail go wide. I want you to drop your tail in and down. Belly in, good. From here, start to lower down until you are in a seated position on your butt. Mm-hmm, beautiful. Zip up your pants, maybe lift your toes chest is proud. Maybe extend your legs. Can you lower halfway down? Extend your legs. Lower your heels. Lower your chest. Zip up back to Navasana. Boat pose. Woo! Lower down. Half boat. Zip back up Navasana. Zip. Good, now cross your ankles, place your hands in front of you, hop or step back into a plank push-up position. High to low push-up, drive your heels forward, roll your chest up to the sky, curl those toes 
point your feet, push your palms into the floor, lift your chest, lift your chin, lift your gaze to the sky. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, curl those toes back under, downward facing dog. You're facing the back edge of your mat now, yes? Deep breaths here. Inhale, rise up off of your heels. Exhale, drop both heels down to the right side. Feel a beautiful stretch in your left side body. So press those palms into your mat. Pull your shoulders, shrug them towards your ears, and then allow those hips to press behind you and lengthen to the ceiling. Good, inhale back to regular downward facing dog. Up on your toes, exhale, lower your heels. Let's do that again. Inhale, rise off, drop to the right. Inhale, back center, drop those heels. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, rise, get tall, drop them to the right, and then lengthen. Feel the strength in your right side and the length through your left. Spread those fingers out nice and wide. Open up that shoulder angle while pressing your armpits towards your ankles. Inhale, rise up off those heels. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up off those heels. Take a look at your hands. Hop, step, or walk to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one dive all the way overhead. Exhale, feet are hip distance apart. Good, as you hinge your hips, lower your hands down by your hips. Clasp your hands behind your back. Lengthen those arms. Good, first posture is to really open through your chest. So get those palms far away from your back body. You'll feel your chest rise. Good, now on your exhale, lower that chest and then let those hands fall heavy towards the ground beyond your head. Continue to open through your chest, expanding through those collarbones, getting those shoulders away from your face. Let's not forget and neglect the back of our legs. So really lengthen, pull that tail to the sky. If you need to do this with a bended knee, please do so. If you wanna lengthen one leg at a time, please do so. Belly is in. Beautiful, go ahead and release those arms. Give yourself a nice hug. Rock those hips side to side. Good, go ahead and change your grip. Steady your sway, release your arms. Reverse swan dive, take it all the way up to a stand. Hands clasp overhead, point your fingers, stay high. Step your feet out wide, getting ready for those malasana squats. Drop into your heels, pull your belly up and then zip up your pants. Use your glutes in the back of your legs, shoulders down. Toes and knees turn out. Nice and smooth, keep your heels low and grounded. If they start to rise, try to walk your feet out or maybe you go, maybe not as low. Awesome, one more time. Shoulder blades down, belly in. Good, hold it low in that malasana squat. Bring your hands to heart center. Draw your elbows out and allow those elbows to press on the inside of those legs. And then drop your tail, not just back, drop it in and down. Lower your hands down. Step your right foot back this time. Drop your right knee down, point your back toe. And then I want you to press the eye of that right hip forward. Pull your belly in. Take that right hand on the center, in the center of your mat. Inhale, lift and place that left hand on your left thigh. 
option here to roll out through the base of your foot onto the pinky knife edge side of that foot, getting deeper into those glutes, opening those hips a little bit more. Press that right palm into the floor, zip up your pants, open up to the ceiling, left arm to the sky, your gaze follows. Maybe you're here and you reach those fingertips back, maybe that's enough. Maybe you bend your knee, reach for a toe, a heel, a pant leg, anything you've got. Really focus on restacking those shoulders. So don't let that top shoulder pull forward. Use that to open up. Rolling off of your kneecap onto the meaty side of your quad will help feel, um, it'll feel better. You won't feel as that tweaking kneecap pain. Pressing that right hip flexor forward. Beautiful, controlled. Lower that foot down, curl your toes under. Reach that left hand overhead as you straighten your back leg. Drive that heel down. Start to straighten that left leg as you walk your hands towards your old front edge of your mat. Bend into your right knee. Left leg is long, foot is flexed. Lifting your upper body over those hips and then allow your weight to drop in towards that right heel. Pressing that right arm into the inside of that leg. Get a deeper, juicier stretch in those inner thighs, hips, groin. Don't restrict your breath. You may be higher. Totally fine. Good, we're gonna pivot to a crescent lunge facing the top short end of our mat. So inhale that left arm overhead. Take it and cartwheel back. Frame your foot with either hand. Your back heel is lifted. Really dig that back heel down and then shift to the ball of your foot onto those toes, almost like you're pressing your heel into a wall. Square those hips up, inhale, reach overhead. Good, sink into those hips a little bit more. Feel the intensity, the lengthening through that back hip flexor area. You may feel it in your core, in your hips. The only place that's not okay is your knee. So if you start to feel it in your knee, give it a little bend. Bring your hands to heart center, slight hinge forward, hooking that left elbow over that right leg. Mm -hmm. Pressing in, so the back of that left arm pushes into your right thigh. Lift up and rotate. Squeeze your booty. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach all the way up. Exhale, lower those hands. Step back into a plank push-up position. High to low push-up. Press your heels and chest through to the center. Front edge of your mat. Lift your chest, lift your chin, lift your gaze, belly up. Downward facing dog. Inhale, rise off your heels. Drop both heels down to the left side. Pressing your palms into the floor. Lifting your chest and your hips to the sky. Feel the length in the right side of your body. Inhale, back to heels. Back to toes, heels down. Inhale up, drop it over to the left side. Really make sure you ground into those palms. Pressing up and back. Good, back to the center, onto those tippy toes. Lower those heels down one more time. Lift up, drop in, push away from those palms. Nice job. Lower down, just pedal through your downward facing dog. Ready for some fun? Inhale your right leg to the sky. Good, keep your shoulders square. Bend your right knee and then just rotate and shine the front eye of your hip open. Keep those shoulders in, which means you need to drop that right armpit down and in. Good, start to planch forward, slowly starting to bring your shoulders on top of your wrist. All the while, that right foot is dropping over behind your head. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Press your hips to the sky. You have flipped your dog. 
good. Let's shift this into a side plank. So stack your wrists on top of one another, and then your foot comes off. You stack your hips, you stack your ankles, lift all the way up. Keeping that arm overhead, bring your top knee into your chest, and then you step your foot through. Beautiful. Lower that hand down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, lower down. Step back. Plank push-up position. Down dog. Left side. Inhale, lengthen that leg. Bend your knee. Keep your shoulders square. Just open up through that left hip. So press your left hip to the opposite that you are opening that left hip. Excuse me, press your left armpit to the opposite direction you're opening that left hip. Go ahead and start to planch forward, bringing your shoulders on top of your wrists. Your left big toe is getting heavier and heavier. Drop it off to the right side. Lift your hips up high. Good, bring your arm, stacking wrist, elbows, shoulders first, then let's stack our hips, knees, ankles, side plank. Keep your hand where it is, top knee, bend it into your chest, lower it down, step that foot in between your hands. Beautiful, inhale, arms overhead. Belly zips up. Awesome job. Lower your hands down. Plank push-up position. Down dog. Inhale, rise up. Take a look at your hands. Exhale, hop or step to the center, to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward, fold elbows out. Reverse swan dive all the way up. Feet are hip distance apart. Exhale, sit down into your chair. I don't want your sit bones to turn out wide. I want your sit bones to track straight through your knees and your ankles, straight to the back edge of your mat. From here, let's take a seated position. Lower, lower all the way to your booty. Bring your shins parallel to the floor. Lengthen your legs. Bend your knees. Keep your knees, ankles, toes, thighs together. Mm -hmm. Shoulders down, chest lifted. Up. Can you lower halfway down? Zip up. Woo. One more. Up. Cross your ankles. Place your hands down. Hop or step back into a low push-up position. Low. Good. Hips side to side. Elbows squeezing into your side body. Eight, seven, belly in, butt low. Four, three, two, one. Lower onto your belly. Extend your arms out. You're either resting on your chin, you're resting on your forearm or your forehead. I will be lifted for the safety of my mic. Bend your right knee, curl your left toes. Lift your hip and thigh off of the floor, and then take it all the way over towards your left hand. Option here, take that right hand to the ceiling. Option, reaching that right hand back to meet your left and clasp. That's not in the cards for me today but I can still feel the sensation of my shoulder blades squeezing towards one another, my chest expanding, my shoulders stretching. Go ahead and lower that right hand back down. Now let that thigh and hip pull back towards your mat, coming back to chin or forehead. Bend your left knee. Curl your right toes, press in towards your right side as you lift your left thigh and hip off the mat. Then we're just gonna drop it over to the right side, maybe towards those hands. Feel the stretch in the front of that top leg. Good, let's lift that left arm to the sky. 
Maybe you drop it back. Maybe you can clasp your hands. It is possible, I've seen people do it. Never for me, but that doesn't stop me from trying, I'm reaching. How good does this feel on your neck, right? Getting rid of that text neck. Opening up your chin should be off your chest. Good, let's lower that left hand back down. And then you can start to roll back onto your belly, bringing your hands underneath your shoulders. Press your palms into the floor, lift your chest, lift your chin, lift your belly away from the mat. Belly pulls in, shoulders down, elbows lock in underneath those shoulders, lower all the way down. Curl your toes under into a tabletop position onto your hands and your knees. Mm -hmm. Belly in. Look forward. Good, don't lock your elbows out, but I do want you to shine the inside of your elbows forward slightly. Mm -hmm. Sit your heels back towards your hips, even with your toes curled under. Press your palms into that floor. Push those heels, those hips closer to your heels. And then start to walk your hands back towards your knees. Lift your knees up so that you're now on your toes. And then your heels are nice and heavy, giving you a stretch in the back lower half of those legs. Let your chin fall in between those legs. Really widen through your back, widen through those hips. Tail is heavy. Good, keeping your posture exactly where it is, just start to inchworm your fingertips so that your arms lengthen. Mm -hmm. Now, can you draw your knees out so that your arms and your shoulders on the inside of those legs? Just keep inchworming those fingertips forward all the while your hips are still heavy beyond your heels. Go ahead and sit back onto your booty. Soles of your feet come together, knees out wide. Belly in. Sit up nice.
So here, if you were to let go of your knees, you would be falling backwards. That's how much you should be pressing into the back. Good, come up through. Switch the cross of your ankles. We'll do one more, two more times through. Inhale, lift chest, chin. Cow, exhale, scoop, tuck, round, lower. Come back through neutral. One more, lift chest and chin. Belly is still strong. Exhale, elbows out, pelvic tilt. Belly zips up, belly button towards that back wall. Come back to a seated position. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Sit up nice and tall. Zip up through your pants, and I want you to sew your rib cage together, right? So each side of your body zippers in together, and then you zipper up from pelvic floor to chin. It's a little bit of a funky class. all different directions, all different angles. We threw existing moves that you're familiar with along with new random things. And you took it all like a champ. Sounds like my kind of day. Until next time, namaste.